Hello and welcome to Open Boosters! Many of you asked, what's your opinion, Open Boosters, on Masters 25? Well, I'll tell you, son. It's not all peaches and creams, but the, uh, re the rares, pretty good. I like the selection there. The uncommons, boom. I have no problem with that either. The commons, pretty cool. I think that's a good selection. The mythics, wah, 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 wah. And it's, but I mean, some of them are good. Jace is back. He's been unbanned. Craziness. We got to sell those boxes. So we got to unban Jace and we're going to put him in the box. Yeah, yeah, we need to do that. So, boom, he's unbanned. He's back. Craziness has ensued. And we all know he's going to be in the box anyway. So there we go. Yay, Jace. And then we got a really cool card because I don't have one, which is really fantastic. Imperial Recruiter. I, I think that's cool because I'm going to get one finally. Yay, Imperial Recruiter. Yay, Portals of the Three Kingdom represent. Oh, and we also got Chalice of the Void. I think that's this. No, that's not that. That's this. Boom, but they all look the same to me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Chalice of the Void is back. Well, I got one of those, but it's still good card. And uh, I like my bridge, uh, Ensnaring Bridge. I think that's awesome, too, because it's like similar to Meek Stone, but you use a red deck, and you start blood zone and light bolts, and you have nothing in your hand, and nobody can hit you, so it's fantastic. Ah, no one can hit you. Yeah. Oh, so fun. But then we get down. Has anybody ever really wanted to open a mythic that has really no value at all price-wise? Oh, you. You over there? No. You. You don't want to open Tree of Redemption? Huh? What? Nobody does? Nobody wants to open a Tree of Redemption? In mythic form? No? Why? I mean, it gives you life. You can swap your life with the toughness. So fantastic. No, no, you really don't want it. Well, you get it in Masters 25. I mean, they could have put in. Let's see, what could they have put in? They could have put in Mox Opal, right? That would have been pretty cool. But you know what? Who doesn't want Tree of Redemption? Mox Opal, Tree of Redemption? Come on. Who wouldn't want that? All right. What about Sky Raider? Sky Raider's pretty cool, too. Right? It throws down, it throws down kobolds. It does. You cast it, you get kobolds. And then you can sacrifice creatures and it gets really big like a fire breathing guy. Or you could have put in mana crypt. No? You don't, you'd rather have the mana crypt than the sky raider? Come on. You can't be serious. Sky raider's cool compared to mana crypt. Well, you definitely wouldn't want a dark confident, right? Don't want that either. This is crap. What about what about the Sword of Fire? You want this? You want this in the box? That'd be cool, but nah, you don't want that. You know, you know I mean, you don't want that, right? Because you'd rather have Doomsday. Yeah, Doomsday is much better than Liliana of the Veil, right? Crazy, right? It's much better. Doomsday is much better than this. See, I, I think they really kind of missed the boat when they picked out the cards, especially for the Mythics. I really think what they should have done is just gone insane and put all the good Mythics in the box instead of, you know, what they chose. I mean, Imperial Seal would have been an extra great card from Portals of the Three Kingdom. They could have put that in there. Hell, put in another Mana Drain. That would have been nice. They could have put in anything. I mean, <laughs> Tarmogoy. Here we go. Tarmogoy. Put that in the box. They could have gone nuts. And then the box would have been uh, spiking like crazy. You know, as soon as they started announcing these one card at a time, everybody would start clicking buy button. I got to pre-order this. And you know what? If Even if they did a second print run, it would have gone off. And all they had to do was say, hey, it's the 25th anniversary of Magic the Gathering. We're putting everything in the box. Everything that is awesome. Because it's the 25th anniversary of Magic the Freaking Gathering, right? And that's what they should have done. They should have done that. They didn't. They held back. They put Jace in. Props. But they put a Sky Raider in there. Nobody wants that. <laughs> Unless you play a commander and have a specific purpose for it to be in there. So, you know, you just 
you look at what they put in there as far as the mythics and you're like, come on, who, who decided that? Who decided to put Tree of Redemption as a mythic? No one's going to want to open that. They're going to go into their box and their mythic's going to be a Tree of Redemption. And you're, they're, they're just going to cry because it's ridiculous that their mythic is Tree of Freaking Redemption. I mean, I mean, it's going to be there. It's going to be, you're going to get the Sky Raiders and Tree of Redemption. Woo! Everybody's going to go wild. No! That shouldn't have been in the box. It shouldn't have been picked. That's just nuts. <laughs> that doesn't represent anything. I would rather have a thought knot in the box than a Tree of Redemption. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. It's... It's not good. It's, it's, it's terrible. You know, um, <laughs> give me a polluted Delta versus that. I just, oh, I'm just, <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking. They said, hey, it's the 25th anniversary. <laughs> Who cares? Let's just throw anything we want in there. I just, I mean, the rares were good. I, I have to admit, they're they're good. They're good for rares. I mean, you know, Will the Wisp. That's fine. It makes sense. Oh, but there should have been no bad hits for the mythics. And what they did was they put like twenty dollar mythics, and then they went lower. Oh, and I'm just like, why? Why would you do that? I'm serious. I just I don't understand their brainstorm. Let's celebrate the 25th anniversary of my Tree of Redemption. I'm sorry. That should never have been an option. <laughs> I mean, are you serious? Tree of Redemption. <laughs> that one just cracks me up. Sky Raiders is the second one that cracks me up. Because they throws out, <laughs> he throws out co-balls. I mean, seriously. <laughs> And it's, it's Commander, right? It's, it's for Commander. I, <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. It, <laughs> it doesn't match anything. And when you think about what it doesn't match, you, you think about what they could have put in its place. And it's pretty much anything. You know? Uh, any fetch land will do. I mean, it's not this complicated. Uh, oh, I Sorry, I started laughing. I have a tendency to do that when I think of ridiculous things. And it's, it's ridiculous. And uh, I, I'm sorry. It, it, that's the part that just throws me. You, you look at the, what they picked, and the rares are good. <laughs> and the mythics, you're just like, that's not really a mythic problem. That's, I mean, it's a mythic card. Don't get me wrong. You can have a mythic card that doesn't do much. But, I mean, it doesn't, it, I mean, the card's not bad. Tree of Redemption is actually not that bad of a card. But it's, it doesn't really represent 25 years of Magic the Gathering. And I know we had Cobalts. You know, Cobalts of Kirkkeep were great legends. Not really. They were terrible. But, I mean, Cobalt Taskmaster did nothing. And it, you just didn't really use them. You just kind of ignored them. However, <laughs> we put a commander in there that spits them out. <laughs> and uh, it just doesn't make much sense. I'm sorry, it, it just doesn't. And the mythic quality is terrible. The box itself, the box itself, the rares, they're okay. If you ignore the fact that you have to get a Jace to make your money back, well, you're good to go. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking with those mythics they chose. And that's the only problem with it, really. From a vintage perspective, it's it's that's the only problem it has. They can't print three reserve list cards, and that's not going to ever happen. And they couldn't put it in the box in the first place. It'd be nice if they put some like tokens in there to like represent those cards, but that's not going to happen either. And, sorry, I started to ramble. It was just it's just one of those things. I start getting on a roll, and it just goes downhill. <laughs> so I'm going to call it here. Uh, but that's pretty much my opinion. The mythics in the box were just, you know, a little lackluster. I don't think they made a really good choice in what they wanted to put into the mythic slots. The rares, I thought, 
they were fine. I thought they were okay. I, I thought that was just fine. I thought for a 25th anniversary box, the Mythics should be bonkers. That is pretty much my opinion. It, I, I'm sorry I started rambling there. I'm probably going to cut that piece out. But hit the like button, subscribe, make a comment. Hopefully this was entertaining. I, I don't think you really got any really good strategies or information on that. These this is you just wanted my opinion, and I gave it to you. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right. Also, if you like this kind of thing, we can do this again with the next box or whatever they're going to release in the future. All right. All right. That, that didn't sound right either. But anyways, hit the like button, subscribe, make a comment. All right. I'll talk to you all again real soon.